What's going on everybody? Sparks Comics here, ready to do another comic review for you guys. This time, not just a single issue review, this is a full uh, five issues here in the volume one of The Magician's New Class. So stay tuned for that. Before we get there, please hit that like button, subscribe button if you haven't already, and drop a comment at the end and uh, let's talk about this and let me know if you, uh, if you read this. All right, stay tuned. What's going on everybody, welcome back. So this is The Magician's new class. This is based off of Lev Grossman's The Magician series. And so he was involved with the writing for this. Also on this, we've got Lila Sturgis and uh, Pius Bach. And Pius Bach, I believe, was the, yeah, did the, the art in this. And Lila Sturgis was a, a co-writer with Lev Grossman. Uh, and so this picks up many years after the Magician series, in which we had Quentin Coldwater, Alice, Penny, all of them, um, and their story. This is way after that, and we see at the beginning of this some hedge witches from New Orleans. So really cool that, that uh, that's there, because that's where I'm living right now. Um, and so we see them essentially making the journey to break bills because they've been invited by Dean Fogg to, uh, some of them to enroll as students and one of them to become a teacher there. And it seems like, okay, well, that's the, that's the gist of the story, right? Dean Fogg's invited these promising hedge witches into the, kind of into the folds of the regular magic teaching and magic school. They're trying to bridge that that gap between the hedges and the, the ma traditionally trained magicians and, you know, form a bond there. But it, yeah, yeah, that's not really why they brought them there. Um, you'll find out if you read this, I'm not going to spoil it. There's a deeper reason why these hedge witches were brought to the school. Um, and you find it out relatively quick, but the students don't find it out relatively quick. Um, and so, some things happen in this that are lots of twists and turns. Don't be surprised if a character dies. I'm just going to say that. Not going to spoil who, though. So, overall, um, I like the art. I really enjoy this, uh, you know, especially like some of these splash pages. Um, Individual panels are really good. Uh, definitely a really good art. Um, the story I thought was perfect for the style that Lev Grossman um, created the magicians in. We get lots of curse words here and there. These characters are not, you know, PG characters. They're doing PG-13 or R kind of things in this. Um, so it keeps with the tone of the original magician books. And so I really enjoyed that. I enjoyed meeting these new characters. Um, I really enjoyed the fact that this book was very um, inclusive uh, to the LGBT community. Um, and, and that is something that started in, in The Magicians 2. Um, we had um, we had Elliot um, in the Magicians who was was a gay character. We had Margot who was bi, and so in this book we actually get a trans character. We also get two new potentially gay characters. It seems like, um, and for me, I don't like when a an artist or creator or something that goes and retcons things and says, oh yeah, this character was um, gay, like J.K. Rowling did with Dumbledore, did not like the fact that she did that. But when they put it into the story, it's built in, it's natural, it's not something that's forced, and it's well written, I love it, and that's what happens in here. The, 
representation in this book is very good. Um, and it's not something that's just forced upon you in a way that doesn't make any sense. Um, it's kind of subtly hinted at, at in, earlier in the book and then, you know, flat out stated later on. Um, and so I definitely like that they did that in this story. I think there's not enough of that type of representation in comics. And it does have some contribution to the overall story. And so with that in mind, I think that they did a great job in, in including that into the story. Um, overall, like where it ends, I am thinking it's not the end, but if you read the, the last page, it literally says the end, period not the end dot dot dot, the end question mark. So I really don't know if it's the end of this story because there's a lot more that can be told here. Um, but I do know that this story on its own is really cool. It's great to meet these new characters in that world. I hope that they do more with them. I like that instead of just continuing on with another novel, Lev Grossman went out and had this created. Um, there is uh, one other version um, of comics with the magicians, and it's uh, the magicians uh, Alice's story, I believe is what it's called. Uh, yes, the magicians Alice's story, and Lila Sturgis also writes on that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the paperback of that actually comes out today, um, this new comic book day. And so I might try to pick that up so I can read that as well. Do another review on it. Um, overall, out of five stars, I'd say maybe a four star. Um, you know, it's hard to hit that five star mark for me. Really, the, the books that do that uh, consistently, Something's Coming to Children is really one of those books. But uh, I really enjoyed this. I may have to go find the um, original floppies of this and um, collect those it's kind of more of a you know first appearance of these characters with issue number one um, I think I really need to read the Alice's story also because it's really cool to get to explore more into these uh, this world and these characters so I recommend checking this out um, especially if you read the magicians books if you didn't read the Magician's books, I don't know if this is going to be something that you'll enjoy. It's a great story on its own, but there, you know, knowing this, the history of the Hedwitches and the students at Breakfields, knowing Dean Fogg's history, um, knowing some things that have taken place in that world, there's a cool little uh, Easter egg in this that pops up. Um, I think those will make you enjoy this story more. They aren't necessarily, you know, it's not necessarily required to have read the Magician's books, but I think you'll enjoy this series more if you have. So let me know what you guys think about that book. If you watch it, let me know what you think about these in review. Um, drop that in the comments below. Hit the like button on the way out. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the little bell button to get notified about new videos. And uh, as always, remember to collect what you love. See you guys next time.